Hi, Sunday Schoolers. I am Mrs. Pepin, and today I wanted to talk to you about how being a Christian is like being a pumpkin. So I know that a lot of you um, are getting excited for Halloween, and I am as well. I don't know what I'm going to be yet, but I'm pretty excited about it. I know that it will be a very different Halloween than what we're used to this year, but I hope you still get a chance to go out and dress up and have a socially distanced parade and some trick-or-treating. And I know that Halloween, a lot of times, everyone is thinking about candy and that type of thing. But today, I really want to talk to you more about carving a pumpkin or carving a jack-o'-lantern. Because you see, when we are thinking about our pumpkins and thinking about our jack-o'-lanterns, you can be thinking about how being a pumpkin is like a Christian. So the first thing is, when you go to pick your pumpkin from the patch, it's like God picking you from the patch and bringing you into the indoors, right? So that's the first step, right? Then he washes, God washes all the dirt off of you, just like you wash your pumpkin off and make it all nice and clean so it's easy to carve and not so dirty and washes us all the dirt and, and sins away from us. So the first step is that God hopefully will open your mind. So we're going to carve the top. open my mind. Okay. So I can learn about God. And that's what you do in Sunday school all the time, isn't it? We learn about God in Sunday school and in church. So the second step is he opened, God opens us up just like this. And he scoops all of the yucky stuff out. He removes the seeds of doubt and hate and greed which means that we want so many things, right? When you're greedy. So I'm gonna scoop out some stuff here. All the yucky stuff. Ew. And there's some stuff I'm gonna reach in there and get my hands in there and get all the other stuff. There's some seeds. Get those seeds of doubt and hate and greed out. My hands are kind of yucky now, but it's all part of the part of making a jack-o'-lantern, right? And getting all this stuff out that isn't good. All right, so I think I'm pretty done. I'm going to do some more. Get some more out. You know, you can't see me, but there's there it is. There's my clean pumpkin. All right. So I'm opening my mind so I can learn about you, right? Taking all the yucky stuff out. So take away all of my sin and forgive all the wrong things I do. So all that yucky stuff that was inside taking away is like God taking away our sins and forgiving us, right? All right. So he's going to carve us a new smiling face. God does that. He carves a new smiling face for us. So the first step is going to be opening my eyes so that I can see your love. So I've got to put it down a little bit here, but you can see. I And, and if you're carving a jack-o'-lantern, I just want to tell you that obviously you want to sh make sure that mom or dad uses the knife part, right? Unless you have one of those, which I didn't have. I just had a knife, um, those great pumpkin knife carvers. So I've got the first part. Here's my little love, seeing the love God has for us. And so now I'm going to do the next one. Takes a while sometimes to get our pumpkin carved. 
All right, that one came out pretty easily actually. So there's my second one. All right, so open my eyes so your love I can see. I can see the love you have for me. All right. And I'm sorry for turning my nose up at you. So I'm going to carve a nose next. And I've got to do that part. This one's a little trickier. I got to get some of the stuff from inside out. Yeah, put that down. Okay. Open my mouth so I can tell others you're near. So we want to spread the good news about God and all the wonderful things we learn about when we're in Sunday school and church. So we want to open our mouths so we can spread good things about God, spread good news about God. So I'm going to do the mouth next. trying to look at you and also carve, and that's a little dangerous. I have to keep my eyes on the pumpkin. All right, let's see. That part. And he puts his light inside you. God puts his light inside you to shine for the world to see. So here's my pumpkin so far. And I'm going to put the light in and I'm going to put this pumpkin down so I can grab my candle. And I'm going to light it with my lighter. This is also something a mom or dad should probably do. But here's my light. I'm going to light it. And it's hard to see, but there you have it. So let your light shine in all I say and do. And that's my pumpkin prayer for today. And I hope you enjoyed it. Notice the eyes are heart and the nose is a cross and the mouth is a fish. And you can design your pumpkin any way you want, but know that, that God's love is like carving a pumpkin together with your family and let the light shine in all of you. Amen.